I've got Gabagool for prices. Market prices. Ghoulishly low prices. The prices. <laughs> God, these high noons are so good. All right, I'm going to try it. Do it. Why is Steve's camera... Me? Oh, yeah. You? I'm a special boy. Yeah, switch it around here. Steve is actually two I humans. I have transformed into two men. <laughs> He's there we go. Bob Fixed. Cool. And I've mastered ventriloquism. <laughs> oh. Fixed oh, it. It's different now. Made it better, stronger, and faster. And uglier. Oh. It means the same thing. <sighs> Two words, one line. Tristan, did you vote today? Duh. Who'd you vote? Who did you write in in the, uh, that one Yeah, tell you... us your private uh, political decisions. I mean, in, in reality, I skipped it, but I should have written Gabagool. Okay. I wrote you. <laughs> nice. And I you wrote Phil. Baba Duke. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> we were hoping that you wrote Dennis's name in yep. there. No, was, and then we had a three way tie. 8.30 in the morning. And, mm -mm. I was there. It's pretty good. So. Tastes very peachy. They are very peachy. That's why they're I $30 voted, for a four pack. <laughs> yeah. I voted no. $30. I voted no for the constitutional amendment to allow. Um, to allow civil servants to campaign for uh, their their family members that are running for office. Well, how are you, you going to get your mom the mayor, idea. Steve? I don't think we get to do that in PA. My mom will be a terrible mayor. I love you, Mom. <laughs> mayor Mom. Mayor. MayorMom.com. Mayor Mom. <laughs> MM. You suck, mayor Mom. mom. <laughs> it's the sequel to Mr. Mom with Michael Keaton. <laughs> now My Mayor Mom. Mayor. <laughs> I love this shirt. Which shirt? The one you have? It. No, it's a line from Mr. Man, Mom. Peggy Harding. Mm. I, I never like seen this shot. shot and he's like, I love this shirt. Mm. <laughs> I like Phil's cardigan. I also saw an article of clothing on the on a TV show, and now it's on my Amazon wish list, but I haven't bought it yet. Okay. Mm. I just want to stare I at it. I had to for stop saying that I wanted things from TV shows and or movies. Because yeah, Phil buys hard. them all. Yeah. For real, <laughs> it happened it once. It happened was once. It once. I feel like oh man, I gotta start pointing shit out. <laughs> it was once. Yeah, it was just, just once. It was very amazing shoes, and I'm probably gonna wear this week. Next time something. we watch a Hellraiser movie, I'm gonna be like, I, 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 I want wore those that nails. Some people Snapchat. So <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I, I man, I would love a throat pussy. It'd be great. Yeah. Is that a Hellraiser? Buy yeah, that's buy me a throat pussy. For real deep throating, your jaw wouldn't even hurt. It'd be amazing, actually. Mm. Actually, it'd be amazing. And Just you won't find gag. a long-time smoker, guys. You also wouldn't gag, because mm -hmm. it's not no going to hit your uvula. <laughs> no gagging. I, I don't gag it. It tingles from, from what a was little that, bit Jenna? acid reflux. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what was that, Jenna? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I heard hey, it. Dennis? Uh, I heard it. Yeah, well, we can, clip it. I didn't we can it. clip it and put it as, oh, it's uh, true. as the end of the episode. Clip it. No. I don't gag. Not only that, I can... Uh, isolate just her audio. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. God damn it! I'm gonna stop. Good point. Doing this things. show. Please Good luck never about. stop. Please never stop. <laughs> Previously on that. Sorry, I was burping while you did that. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Previously on that. Willie, what are you gonna name your sons? Made of fire. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to waste my time because they're probably going to die in about, I don't know, 15 minutes when, once these old dwarfs realize that fire minions are coming to invade that rock space. I'm going to name them Pete, Crete, and Little Ezekiel. God, One, my three. legs hurt. Well, three, Somebody needs a bath of me. Oh, there's three. Okay. Welcome back, listeners, to the 14th episode of our seventh season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. Check us out next time. <laughs> you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, and Twitch at Bodge Podcast. Sorry. <laughs> and as always, smoke weed every day. Yeah. yeah. We are going to start right where we left you off. You don't last want to redo that? Nah. All right. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, We've all just given up. Uh, yeah. Dennis has got a peach in his brain now. <laughs> I got fuzz. Yeah, I, I got I fuzz had, brain. I had two sips of this. Jenna said she doesn't have a gag reflex. There's just too many peach thoughts brains. in my brain right now, so it's it's tart. 
It's, har- it's tarp. I have, tarp. A Jeez. I have a tarp for my brain. <laughs> a tarp brain. Steve, it's hot. Oh, I missed it. Clip it. What did he say? <laughs> We're gonna have You'll a good montage. I mean, I will because I have your audio, but. Um, you got, see, yeah, we're starting where we left off last time. Your fucking little flame minions marched away. I think one of you went with them, though it doesn't, I don't recall. Me, yeah, okay, it, heck it was heck. Little Flay. And then the other three are still sitting by the bellows. And Willie made sure to tell them to listen to me. That's right. He did say those he words, did say yes. Those words. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm delegating. I'm Willie Bellows. Mm hmm. Did he say to listen to her or to obey her? Damn. Both. He said listen. I said we'll have both. To check that show. Audio. <laughs> so yeah, so Heck and the little fire minions are on their way up top. Uh, the three of you are down at the bellows. What are you, what are you guys doing? I can just keep bellowing because uh-huh. I'm not. I told that old scary man that I was going to keep these alive. You did. That is true. We didn't promise not to make a hole in the wall, so technically we haven't violated our agreement. It's true. It seemed like all he cared about was that the flame didn't go out. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Dennis. Uh, so if, like, if, I, if I look around me, Say it again. if I look around me, are there like ingots and hammers and stuff? Yeah, so there are um, ingots, there are hammers, there are also pieces of guns. So there's like barrels, there's oh, wow. the triggers, there's the handles. Um, you also see that there are other weapons, or at least pieces of weapons. It doesn't look like anything's finalized. So it looks like there's pieces of hand axes, pizza, piece, pizzas, mm, pizza, pizza hand axes. Pieces there's pizza. of uh, larger axes, swords, great swords, uh, rapiers, like all kinds of different things. Hammers, maces, mallets, uh, flails, all that jazz. So it looks like he has quite the assortment of weapons, but the sort of main focus of his area is about the revolvers and rifles and other gunnery. I wanted to make a reference to that song, Revolver, but now I can't remember the lyrics. Good call. Good call. Angry. Wait, which song are you talking about? <clears throat> eh, whatever. Um, no I mean, by the, place. By the Beatles? N- no, maybe. Well, it might be Rage Against the Machine. So Rage Against the Machine covered it. Is this another Hey, instance? Revolver! <laughs> Taste abrasive machine. Got it. No, you're out of me. Da, 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 da. We did it. Um, Got it. Okay. So while he's pumping the bellows, uh-huh. I want to try to. Are there like any casts around? Molds, if you will? Yes. So if I take some tongs with some ingot in it and I can pour into them, like into bullets or something, or. Uh, yeah, you could see that there are molds specifically for bullets. Okay. Um, Though you don't see any labels on any of the ingots, so you don't know what any of these metals gotcha. are. Gotcha. About how big is Chickums? I mean, he's your standard canary, so about two I foot. No, two foot. Two foot. <laughs> I know. I, I think you. I mean, I don't know your education uh, as a human. He's a two footed turkey. He's a two footed cave canary. turkey. Yeah. Cave turkey. Yeah. Or, or he's you know eleven inches. All right. Uh, how do you think we could augment him? Uh, what do you mean? What? Augment. Uh, give him like laser eyes, or I don't. I don't think you have a the crown ab- of death beams. We could give him metal <laughs> wings and call him Arc Chickums. Yeah. Na 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 na. I okay. You have- yeah. I don't think chickens would like any of that. Squawk. Look, yeah. Maybe like, I don't know, some grill? Like a grill? Chickens, you want metal let's, wings? Let's give them some teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like some like a nice right. pair of like turkey teeth. Okay, well, I'll try, I'll try to- Turkey teeth? Yeah, like a nice grill. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try to find some of those bullet casts, right? Uh-huh. But uh, I'm going to open it early and try to slice them in half. Okay. So that I can then graft the still hot ones to his beak. Oh no! I think you should like <laughs> graft it to like some sort of like chicken dentures. Yeah. Not straight to his beak. Because <laughs> we can use like some epoxy to like put What's it in epoxy? there. It's like um like real like a molten st- metal. No, that's more like a like a weld. 
It's uh, like peanut butter, but it doesn't taste as good. It's like peanut butter that tastes better. Okay. Uh, is there any of that around? I mean... Peanut no. butter? Is there peanut butter? I'm sure up in the leather working shop there's some sort of epoxy. What, okay, so what if we got a little bit of chicken's blood? And then the, the magical fire will like weld them together with the metal. I don't, nobody knows how this fire works. <laughs> well, we don't we act put... like you, you've been here for literally four minutes. His legs are horribly burned. And, yeah. and you think that just because you got your legs all burned up, that you're like king of the fire. I'm, I'm, okay, didn't I get his feather earlier? No, yes, I... there is a spiky, like a uh, very dangerous looking uh, version of Chickum's feather okay. that you have. Can I? And if Before, I remember correctly, yeah. that hurts you. It did, because it's really sharp. Yeah. Yeah, it's very sharp. But what if what if I try to put it back into Chickums? I think. I don't think that's gonna It'll work. Just go right through him, and it's gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, it's gonna kill him. I'm gonna yeah, try to put gonna, it back in the right follicle. Uh, Dex that bird right away from this madman. <laughs> you, you hear a voice in your head say, "It's a good thing that Heck has that." That's true. Wait, you, shit. You ain't even got it. Where to go? Wait, Heck. Can I? Can I? Heck's not here. Heck's oh, not here. Heck. Heck. She Hex, Hex nowhere we're around. Okay. Shit. Smash cut to Heck. Okay. Heck, you are uh, leading the little fire babies up the... Uh, the fire babies. <laughs> up the... Uh, fire babies. Uh, Making your dreams come true. path up towards the top of the um, villi- dwarven village. And um, you notice you're getting a lot of weird eyes uh, from, from some people that are still in their general areas no one is attacking the fire babies because they see you there with them and you're totally calm uh you know pays off to act like you're supposed to be there so you're just getting a lot of looks but nobody's saying anything to you and your heck is just gonna like tip their hat as they go through howdy they howdy tip howdy it back. heck you got muppet G'day. babies all stuck in my brain craniums G'day. now and the spiders are going crazy mm-hmm. with it <clears throat> yeah so you <laughs> You every time you tip, they tip back at you because you know it's proper idea. When so, you tip, I tip. <laughs> when you tip. Yep. So um, eventually, you get all the way up to the top, and you notice that the dwarves are continuing to try and just do whatever they can to try and chip away at all this rock. And you notice that the uh, the smith who was down there that you guys sent up here, he's got these like hammer gloves looking sort of things and he's just boom 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 into the rocks and it's literally shattering them and turning them into dust and they're falling out but the fire babies they just keep on going and you notice that some of the dwarves turn around they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. oh sorry what voice did you what whoa whoa, 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 whoa. what are these fire babies um they are exactly what you said fire babies where'd you get fire babies I don't know. Okay. They're just... What are, what are they doing? Where are they going? I think they're here to help. Uh, okay. So, they get out of the way, because fire babies aren't stopping for shit. They just keep on walking. And they're just burning everything that they touch. Luckily, most of it's just rock and dirt, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, the smith... Somebody taps him on the shoulder, and he turns around angry and looks. And at that point, he glances over and sees the fire babies. And you can see that he is visibly agitated. And he's like, What did you guys do while you were down there? I um, told you to just man the bellows. Now there's fire babies? Yes. Listen, I don't understand exactly how this happened, but it did. So we should probably put them to work. Uh... He very quickly motions everyone, get back, everybody get back. And like, he's like, we got to get out of here. And like, he just is trying to get everybody as far away from the cave entrance as possible. That is probably smart. They could burn anyone and possibly collapse this whole thing. Sure. The fire babies go right up to the rock wall. And uh, as they hit the rock wall, they just sort of like seep into the rocks and they just melt around them. And it looks like they're just slowly trudging their way like upwards uh, at an angle until you can't see them anymore. You just see the glow coming out of their tiny little little lava tubes. I'm going to holler at them. You guys make sure that we can all get out behind you. Uh, The smith is just like, what are you doing? Get out of there. Um, Okay. The light in the holes is getting very, very bright. Uh, is it going to backflow? <laughs> very, 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 very bright. 
Yeah, I'm going to step off to the side away from the hole. When you say step off to the side, like a foot? How far <laughs> off to the side? I mean, pretty far. What's how far? What's uh, my whole movement? Yeah, I was going to say whole movement. <laughs> Good call. Uh, so you notice that all of a sudden, uh, the entire rock wall just liquefies and just pours out over the uh, the oh, wow. edge. Basically, it goes through a house that's there on the edge and just pours out and down into the middle section. Man, I hope there were no children uh, there. Like a waterfall of molten rock, and you could you could clearly see out into the the open area. Uh, so the fire babies were successful in clearing the entire rock slide, at least from the entrance. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> in the bottom. All right, I just. Just let me see his foot real quick. I'm not going to do nothing. I mean, Chickums won't even let you get close. And, and, and Chickums understands uh, what you're saying. And what you're doing is you're deteriorating the, the, the system of trust that you have built. I, with I this. text with, with a little carving knife to try to get a chicken toe. Uh, I mean. Ooh, I got a 22. <laughs> I didn't even to see. To cut off Chickums' toe? Yeah. What's Chickums plus the Dex? Are we taking my plus the Dex, or does Chickums have a better Dex since he's a bird? Uh, Chickums Dex would be a plus three. I got an eleven. All right, Give me so that toe. Ch- Chickums is now missing uh, one of his toes. All right, and I remember I just kind of threw it in the fire last time, right? Uh huh. And then you did something as well, like a high low or something like that. Right. Okay, can I throw it in with some of the metal this time? Sure. I'm going to grab a little bit of a small ingot Okay. and like tie this toe to it and toss it in. Okay. Is Chickums bleeding? Um, Chickums is very unhappy right now. Chickums will be fine. Can I try to feed Chickums a little bit of like... Chicken fries. This 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 <laughs> turkey slaw I got? Sure. Just to like... I'm sorry, Chickums. Chickums is glaring. And, While eating, yeah, uh, chicken squawk. I, tr- I, tr- I tried squawk. I understand. Now look, you can plan your revenge when he takes a sleep. You know us, Ned Higher Low. <sighs> low. Uh, so you notice that the two items in the fire separate from one another, and the metal ingot liquefies and starts to fly around the little tiny baby talon, and then all of a sudden starts to wrap around the talon, and it turns into this, like, super jagged, badass, uh, metallic bird talon that's serrated. Like It would do a lot of damage. Oh, my God. Uh, And then it just floats there in the middle of the air. I'm going to put a... Is there, like, a handle somewhere I can attach to it? A uh, hand? I mean, it's tiny. Okay. Oh, it's a tiny I'm sparrow. Gonna gra- I'm gonna reach out and and reach out and grab it with your hands, but for, on a non-sharp spot. Not with the tongs that are sitting right here. I'm gonna get the tongs with my hands <laughs> reach that I'm reaching out, out and grab them. Uh huh. And I'm gonna try to put it back onto Chickum's stub. Okay. Yeah. Is Chickum's cool with the? Uh, I mean, put- I'm holding him. Okay. Chickum's, I'm trying to make you whole Squawk. again. Squawk. Well, he's he's focused on his food right now. Let me do a passive person. Yeah, like maybe you want your toe back, don't you, chicken? He's not. He's more focused on his eating than he is on his. uh, Okay. Because well, he stress eats. I mean, it's it's one of his. Yeah. I mean, he's what what he do. Mm -hmm. Better metal chicken. All right, so you're reattaching metal toe. Okay. Uh, You do. Uh Uh, Chickums freaks right the fuck out. (laughs) Strength. To strength to hold chicken still. Okay. I botched. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I got to go get them Norse Foundry dice. This one's not rolling that hot. Uh, you uh, freak out slightly as Chickums squawks, and you let go for a moment, uh, and Chickums uh, basically flies away into the, the sort of the top area, and you notice that he does sort of like a flip, and it slices this huge hole in the top of the building. So the toe's attached. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's attached. Awesome. And... Uh, slices a hole in the top of this building and flies out. And you notice, uh, because you're looking up at the hole, that there's this thing falling downwards. You don't know if it's falling directly on top of your your shack. Uh, If rocks were made of, like, red pudding. Oh, wow. Bright red, orangish pudding. It's falling very quickly. That's our punishment cup. (laughs) (laughs) It seems like there's been punishments hand out all over the place tonight. (laughs) 
I try to get out of the way. Should we do like an in check? To... You're in a building. I'm going to exit the- small building. Exit the building? Like, I don't know. Do you have an umbrella we can throw in the fire to make a magical umbrella? I only have this parcel. A parasol? No, I got a, a package. A package? That I was supposed to deliver. To where? I mean, uh, you what? You, I'm not a cop, but- <laughs> I didn't ask if you were a cop, but I mean, are you going to help me deliver it? Or like, why do you- why? It's a federal crime to know about other people's well, mail. I, it's I a mean, federal crime to not tell them if you're a cop. I don't think that's true either. You what do you say, know, you Bessie? Say. I read it somewhere in a in a, <laughs> a police in manual. A, something somebody told me. I can read we, it. Can we plug that lips. hole with something magical? Do you guys do spells? The no. last time I asked somebody that, they got really upset. <laughs> do you guys do spells? I mean, what what's more? What's what more punishment? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm not trying to swallow the lava. What if that's magical lava and that would make you into like? Lava man. Radioactive. I, uh, the goggles, I know the goggles might do nothing, but you don't know until you try. try. What if it'll give you all the powers of lava? Like the power to, be, to melt. To melt, yeah. <laughs> uh, you could be melt man. I'm going to leave this house. Okay. You do. Uh, you And get somewhere up high. Sure. You, you can very easily avoid it when you get out and you start to go up the ramp. Um, what about the other people? Besame and Willie, what are you doing? I'm bellowing. Okay. I was told to bellow and not to stop. Okay. So you're bellowing. And I've got an ass that won't quit bellowing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shrink this stupid cow out of here. <laughs> okay. Excuse and, me? And leave. <clears throat> All right. I'm talking to my voice in my head. Sure. Strength check. That's not a Norse Foundry day. I, they're in the other studio. It's just spinning forever. Wow. <laughs> That sucks. That's five. <laughs> uh, you just you give him a hug around his belly, but he ain't moving as the bellowing, and you hear it approaching closer and closer. Intelligence, uh, Willie or Besame. There we go. There we go. Fifteen. Five. <laughs> uh, Besame, you're dumb. Uh, Besame, Willie, you made a promise. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, you're... He's unmovable! You're, you're pretty sure that it's not going to directly hit the house. It may sploosh onto the house a bit, but it's not going to directly fall What's it house. made out of? Uh, uh, molten rock. All right, Betsy May, I got to go mm -hmm. because this is going to burn down this thatch roof. Uh, it's a forge. Yes, the top of the house is sort of like thatching. We built a forge inside a thatch, a Over thatch top of house. Volcano just, the, hole. just the roof. Why? Why is there a roof? I don't know. So it can be on fire. It's in a cave. Yeah, literally. Why is there a roof if we're in a cave? I don't know. In case rocks fall on it. I don't know. It, but what does the thatch do? It's got and sticks to, into there, too. To control the flow of air. I thought it was cooler when chickens cut through a rock ceiling. I mean, yeah, there's, 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 just made there's out of thick hatch. sticks and, like, wood. I mean, it's really not thick it's sticks. Not, it's not straw. <laughs> I mean, I'm outside the house. Yeah, you're you're, sitting, you're me. sitting outside watching. <laughs> Willie, are you telling me that if I fulfill my promise, I could die? Uh, yeah, but also, like, what's the worst that could happen? Why if... don't you just pull that lever you pulled earlier to like release pressure from the thing? Can I try to yeah release the pressure valve to see if I can uh, revert, uh, like redirect the f the molten lava that's falling upon us? What? Huh. The lever was for inside the building. Well, if the fire's outside, then why am I worried? I don't know. Cause the, the, I don't know what's going on. The roof is so. made of sticks, <laughs> and uh, apparently we need to leave. Oh, but I thought your intelligence check said that... It's not falling directly on the building. You. It may sploosh onto the building. But oh, if it well, splooshes it on, it's going to... I mean, sticks versus lava. Sure. Dot com. I've seen Lava Girl and Sh Shark Boy. I haven't. But I'll pretend like I have. She lights thatch roofs but on hold fire. Hold on, all I, got, I got so many questions, Dennis. Like, how do I know that the the how do I know that the the um? It just looks at, like but it's at if, an angle where it's not going to If there's a roof in front of me, how am I how am I supposed to know it, you well, know what direction this molten rock is falling? You upon saw us? through the hole that chickens, chickens made. A big hole. made. How big is this hole that a canary made? Was it like an anime slash? Yeah, it was an anime slash. Stop feeding him answers to his stupid plot. 
I'm trying to make it make sense. I mean, if you want me to have molten <laughs> rock job. fall on your head, I am more than happy. <laughs> I understand. I'm just characters. trying to think it's going to be more fine. I'm going to continue than bellowing. happy. I, Dennis, I'm just trying to try to understand what situation that I'm sitting in right now. Yeah, you, you look. You fine. saw through a hole. You can see that the stuff is falling, me, and I then left. it doesn't look like it's falling directly no, onto the building. because now that I've questioned his storyline, it's still going to directly fall on the house. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, now Bessie Mae. Um, you know what? Godspeed. Wait, it's. The, the cowman's hope... bellowing? Isn't that what cows do? I, or lo- is, it, is it lowing? The cowman bellows. Is that is that Faulkner? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was like, nah. Mark Twain. So Willie's leaving. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to get out. Okay, so you're going over where Ned is? Yeah. Okay. Right into the lava zone. <laughs> it's so, the splash zone. You so, see the dotted line, you're you're not behind it. A large amount of molten rock hits the ground and splashes in all different directions. And it has quite a bit of force as it splashes wow. out everywhere. Wow. So let's see here. That's a lot. Uh, <coughs> Ouch. Uh, You've been talking in that voice all episode. Never going to stop. Okay. Um... Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's see which one. It's Ned. Me. Yeah. You see a giant glob of molten rock mm-hmm. coming your way. Uh, deck save. I'm gonna give you a minus two because your legs are all burned up. Well, fuck you. I got a twenty on the die. Okay. Twenty three all day. Boom. Twenty one so then. Even with your your newly burnt legs, you still manage to dodge a glob of molten rock as it shoots behind you and just <laughs> against the wall. Oh, thank and you. Slowly slides down and starts to uh, turn a darker grayish color as it's flowing. Got to play in. Um, it does splash into the house like there are certain parts, but none of it seems to splash onto the roof. Just hits the side of the house and like melts it a little bit, but doesn't go all the way through the walls or anything like that. Um, some splashes over towards Willie, but not close enough for him to warrant a dodge of any type. So, yeah. And then it just settles and hardens, and there's just a mound of molten rock. We should go back I to knew the everything would be fine. Sure. So you keep on belling. Not very long afterwards, the smith uh, is storming his way down the uh, the pathway. No, no, just just call him back. Call him back. I've got a better idea. I, I think it's a little bit too late for that. I mean, what other? You pitch me the idea, and then I can. We'll gag out his heart, and then it, it, we'll throw it in, and then we'll give it back to him. And he'll have a better metal heart. It'll pump him full of metal canary blood to make him. Yeah, but how special. are we gonna keep him alive in that moment where you're removing his heart? I don't know, but uh, we could always resurrect him later if he does. Well, die. I do have this. Do you have a backup? Canary. I well no, I've got this an- reanimation dust still that I use to make them fire babies. Oh, great idea. Call, call, call them back with treats. Chicken. I got more liquid turkeys. Chickens is uh, flying around you, uh, and you can see that one talon is very large in comparison to the rest of his little teeny tiny talons, uh, and he looks agitated. Clever girl. Mostly at Ned. Hey, buddy. I'm you gonna, want some revenge? I'm, I'm going to put my uh, my falconing oven mitt on. I don't know if that's going to do it. <laughs> okay. And put a little bit of, like, the ch- the turkey jerky okay. on, on the glove so that he lands perfectly on my uh, my, chi- my, my, cu- my my kitchen mitt. Okay. Chickens lands on your, your mitt. It starts eating the... But he's but he's side eyeing Ned the whole time. Don't worry about him. He ain't gonna hurt Squawk. You. He, he says judgingly towards Willie. Now look Squawk. Look I mean look. Squawk. Listen. Listen. You were upset, but now you've got a like a nice like D six esque sharp talon, maybe a D eight depending on where you hit. That's pretty good. He, Squawk. He, I mean, what he took, he re- then returned and improved. Have you thought about that? You that 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 little thing that he uh, uh, attached onto you. That talon is like up, like it's not 
directly touching the falconer glove. Like that one in particular is just like raised up and not down. Uh, yeah. He's being and he kind. just looks yeah. at you and looks at it and then looks at you. I understand, but I still have the reach. Like I can he's still a canary. Yeah. Look, I didn't he's give it and take it away. I took it away, <laughs> then give it, okay? I mean, here's the thing. You don't know, but that thing is going to save your life one day. And when you are in the time of need and that thing saves you, you'll flash back to this moment. And you'll have retrospective on how useful it really was. You'll thank me. Like the head just turns on the body Animal like an handling. owl towards Ned. It just goes, squawk. I think he likes me. I would sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Were you talking to me or the bird? Uh, both of you. All right. I mean, he might try to augment you more. He's going to try to kill you. I've seen him do it with less talents. Hey, Smith. What the hell are you guys doing? Have you ever- I augment- told you to just get the bellows running. I'm trying and there's to make fire a- babies. And I'm trying to make a robot chicken. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you look, mean look a robot thing. chicken? Look at his, look at his talon. <laughs> uh, okay. And I got a feather somewhere. Why are you playing with the magical fire? I, have you? I mean, have you done this before? Yeah. What? 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 Good stuff happened, right? Kinda. Okay. I Horrible mean, stuff could have happened. Points what? at legs. I mean, I, I'll just take a nap. I'll be fine. All right. Unless you can make me some sort of better metal legs, because I'd be in. No. Like some braces. I don't. What? I'm not making them braces. Like I make ma- weapons. Well, what if you made me like weapon legs? Like hydraulic weapon legs. They call me weapon legs. Yeah. Look, chickens, I'll do it too if you'll do it. Squawk. Chickens doesn't seem into it. I mean, chickens has already got like a half half mechanical leg. Half mechanic. He just has a talent. Where's Hack? And then he points upwards, and I think Hack is coming down. The ramp, or is Hex staying up there? Is there still flowy lava coming towards us? Or no, it's done. Cool out? It, it all did. It's okay. done. Well, I mean, what happened up there? Is there Heck blew did, on it? <laughs> is there a hole? Like, have is there a way out now? Yeah. Okay. We're all saved. Thank you. I mean, you. you're welcome. I said thank you. Could I, you wait two seconds? Sorry, I, I'm just not used. Thank you. To, you're welcome. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm just used to, you know, trying to do good things and people yell at me and like, hurt me and shoot me and stuff like that. So well, you could have caused a lot of harm. I know, but it Playing kinda, around with a magical fire. I know, but we were running out of time and running out of out of oxygen. I mean, two things are deathly needed to survive in these hard times. And we were running out of non-supervision time. It's true. You left us along a little bit too long. Hey, but we kept it kept it going. The bellows deserve, are still bellowing. Deserve some kind of reward for that, right? Okay. I mean, I can give you guys some pretty basic magical shit, I guess. All right. I won't say no. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. These last few years have been a little bit rough. Mm-hmm. All those magical guns you, you hear floating around out there. Yeah, you made them. No, I didn't. My daddy made them. Oh, your dad? I've been living in the shadow a long time. I've been I've been trying. I can't seem to make anything quite as good as the old man. What yeah, happened to you? Would you call it the Dado of the Colossus? <laughs> the Dado <laughs> of the Colossus. Yes. Sure. Whatever you want. Whatever. That must be a sandwich from wherever it is. It's your friend. Yeah, it's a good one. A good sandwich. I guess. It's like a Dagwood, but it's a little bit more monstrous. All right. Um, like from Sequest? No, so, I mean, from Safeway. Okay. So as you could tell with that fire, you mix magical components, and then you can create, you know, pretty powerful stuff out of it if you can manage to tame the elements. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but... what? what so what is it that you guys are doing? Like, what are you up to? I mean, how 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 much can we... I mean, we just met you. Yeah, I don't know if I can trust you. Like... I, we're doing some pretty crazy shit. I mean, low key, we're trying to start a religion. I mean, that's what? our si- <laughs> side quest. That's our side saddle quest. I mean, that's that's all I'm comfortable telling in this guy. I mean, let's wait until Heck gets down here so we can. He- you know what? We, we're doing some things, but I feel comfortable if I could talk to my, mm, lawyer. my party first. Yeah. All right. Well. May rolled a four intelligence. I work for the devil. <laughs> 
All right. Well, I'm going to let me just take these bellows back from you, uh, son. Just yeah, I fulfilled my promise. Shh. I'm the only one that didn't leave. You did. You you know what? You get an extra special he uh, reward because you, you didn't abandon your post. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, I mean, what, do you, what sort of weapons do you use? Can you make my darts super magic cool? Super magic cool? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, as cool as you can make them, you know. I don't want you to put yourself out. Ice cold, baby. Darts. Darts are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, what if I gave you something that comes back? Like on the Oh, other... so that I don't have to go pick them up? Darter rags. Yeah, I was Darter thinking, rags. I was thinking a, a chain with a long curved blade on the end of it, but like three or four of them. Would it be like chaotic? These blades? Uh, you know what? They're, I would say they're, you know, pretty reasonable. If uh, so wait, you know, you don't do have to use wrap them? them on my arms. No, and, you don't and have scar to. myself. You don't have. To do Are that. they astral do I have to chains? Sacrifice my soul to a god. I mean, that's pretty uh, extreme. I would say you just you hold one end of the chain, you throw them with the other hand, and then you know they go. Do you get cleave? Oh, do you get cleave yeah, with that? Those things. What? Could you could you cleave somebody like whip it around your head? Oh, yeah, I think it's, it's more of a stabbing thing. It's, and then you pull it's them back a, out. Yeah, it's a range stabby thing. Mm. Yeah, cool. I'll take those. All right. Well, these are these are a plus one, and uh, if you hit, you uh, you roll a d six for mm. every two you get on the d six. That's how many blades hit the uh, the target. A Each cow with. With chain knives. Each of these Call me Bell Razor. Each of these nice. blades is a D6 damage, so you have the potential of doing 3D6 damage with it. So This is neat. Yep. So that's what you get. Thank you. I, it, I promise to use your power for good. And it, it's a plus one as well. Magical weapon. Plus so shit, yeah. Whatever that means. It means you get a plus one to your attack and uh, damage. You're speaking really strangely there, Mr. In-Universe person. Don't worry about it. Just rub your face. You'll understand. Uh, shh. It's okay. You'll understand one day when you when you meet your maker. Can you draw it in crayon for me so I can understand? Shh. It's okay. I have average intelligence. Okay. That's what it gives you. It's thank you. <clears throat> so he just goes back to the bellows. So if you oh, wait, wait. You said everybody oh. gets a reward. But hold on, hold on. Let's wait until Heck and Bessie may come out here. And we well, how long is it going to take her to get down here? Them, them. Sorry. How long is it going to take them to get down here? I mean, I think right about now. Willie, Willie, I lost track of them. Uh, you... In the magma and subsequent lava flow. You kill my five, you kill my five babies? I don't think they're dead. Oh, well, that's I not... think that's the worst problem. Okay, well, you know what? They should be easy to find if they keep marching in a straight line. They're the world's no, problem hope. now. You know, we'll get out there and we'll be able to track them through that fiery trail of hell that they have have caused. Well, if they're walking or on sand. Are we going to contain them? Nope. You can't contain them. You can only hope to guide them into the light, which is the fiery... No, I think that we should very much try to contain them. Nope. I mean, they are... <clears throat> They are Jordan in the peak 90s. There's nothing you can do. You just got to hope, uh, you know, that he uh, has has a bad game and, and, and you can at least, you know, grab two games away from him. But it can't Heck turns to the smith. Is there any way that you can think of to contain them? What would you use to make them? Blood? Uh, I mm. use some of this reanimation dust I got. Oh, yeah. Let me see it. Sure. Uh, that's, that's ours, though. Careful. I don't. I don't. I, I, I hand I it over to him. I need he that. gives a little. He takes a little pinch of it and gives a little sniff. He's like a little key. No, oh, it's only temporary. They're probably already gone. That's that's your children are dead. How Problem do you feel? solved. Yep. You know, <clears throat> they 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 have fulfilled their purpose in this world, and they're probably they burned so bright. And it's better to burn bright than to fade away unknown. How much did it cost you? Everything. Technically, they did both. It's tr that, you know what? That's true. Now, heck, this gentleman here who's uh, cranking away in front of his bellows <laughs> uh, is asking us... Well, don't draw attention to it. <laughs> Phrasing. 
is asking us what 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 are we doing in this world and how much do we know about these uh, magical guns that are just all over the place. I don't, you know, I wasn't comfortable, you know, spilling our baked beans all over the place and just wanted your opinion before we uh, move forward in any sort of conversation. Oh, wait, you, wait, you didn't tell him any, you, the three of you. We, we learned. We, the cow, oh. the cow person said that uh, he's working for the devil. I rubbed his oh. face and said he was a good boy. I'm, that was good of you. Yep. I'm sure that made him feel very nice. I don't know, he looked at, he basically looked like nothing's happening. My tongue How hangs out a little feel? bit when I think hard. <laughs> Staring through his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about your current situation? You talking to me? He'll never live up, mm-hmm. up to his father. I am uh, feeling unfulfilled. I've been I've been wanting to make, uh, you know, magical guns on par with me. Not even on par. Better than the old man's. But I just can't, uh, I just can't find, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspiration. In- inspiration. You're I, looking for a muse. I need a direction. You know, I feel that. That's why I, I was asking that, you what you guys are doing. Like, what is what is your purpose out here? You just or, traveling around, or like, or we could go back in time and kill your dad before he makes all the cool stuff, and you won't have as much to live up to. Well, I'll be lower dead. your standards. I don't, I don't think I'll exist. Look, I came back in time once. I don't know if I can oh, do it no, again. No, hold on, yeah, that's not do what now. Don't came back in time. Heck, I mean, I bet we can kind of convince this feller to uh, maybe on, um, join a the party gay. Yeah. Well, while they're going to have to tell him about our revenge Red. story. While they're whispering, I'm telling him about how I was born uh, two weeks ago to a family on the road. <laughs> but uh, 30 years in the future, there's a turkey box and it devastates the elvish... Uh, forest hold that I was in uh, where I was trained and I woke up now basically. Son, that sounds like you've been spent a little too much time close to the bellows and it melted your brains a little bit. No, I'm just my legs. Melties, just okay? my legs. But also your legs. Yeah, your legs don't look so great. So I, mean, I think that we should try this. Well, I mean also since his since his since his daddy is the one who made all these magical guns I mean, he would outshine his father. Well, what? Not only that, but what if he? Then he could possess his mother like well, Oedipus. Now, hold on. I, or Hamlet. But, but um, <laughs> what if his redemption arc is, you know, cleaning up the mean streets that his father calls? Mm, yes. And then melting them guns down to make a super gun, so we can kill the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and we could and we could put the super gun inside of Chickums' throat. Okay, stop! I mean, Ned. Uh, yeah, squall. We want to kill death. We're working for the devil. And occasionally, Bessie may. Oh, I mean, Me we too. can use that super gun to kill Smiling Tom, and then the devil. <laughs> so we can shoot I, the moon. Right up. I think that's a good idea. If we gather all of the guns that his father made. Voltron them into a mega gun. Under the chickens' his wings. Or, yes, yeah, we'll go with, with mega gun for now. I'll keep Who my idea for later. Star screen. Uh, so Smith guy. Yeah. I, you were told you said we could have some magical item reward. I mean, I, yeah. What, what type of weapon you like? To I use want some sort of ceremonial wiggly knife. What, what now? Like a Chris. Mm-hmm. Chris knife. He's he's trying. He wants something to to. I'm trying to start a religion, and I need a Chris knife. He he means to say briss. He wants he needs to, to knife to do a briss. <laughs> I mean, all right. I mean, I normally make things not that. Um, I mean, it's kind of. I mean, you give me a couple hours, I could probably yeah yeah, yeah. put work something on it. work on it. He's more of a secular smith. I mean, you sure. could just get a cigar cutter. We've I talked mean, about this. Yeah, that probably works too. No, no, no. Swiggly and, knife. And, oh, swiggly. Yeah. All right. I'll try you, and interpret you, whatever you, swiggly. You ever played means. Diablo too? Nope. <laughs> Is it, it has to do with cows, right? Uh, close enough. Yeah. But if make like a snake, a winding snake knife. 
wind and like snake. a duck penis, snake knife, like a tiny flambe. Yeah, if, if you corkscrew it, that'd be fine too. A but flambergito. I, I gotta be able to sacrifice things and like yeah, right. try to resurrect them. Brissom. And, sure. Yeah. Snake knife. Got it. Snake Bus knife. Brissom. Yeah, I'll make you some. Simple. Bus Brissom. That's. That's. It's <laughs> not gonna be anything magical, but I'd make you a snake. You said we get minor magical items. I did. Yeah. That al- I already have. I need oh. reagents to make new magical stuff. Okay. okay. So if you want your little snaky knife, I can make you a new non-magical snaky knife. Why not magical? I don't have the reagents to. I'm okay. telling you. Okay. What I've if I already got, them got for you? things? Ma- okay. If you bring me reagents, I'll make you a magical snaky knife. All right. Just right. give me something random from your magical pile, then. That's why but I asked cool. you. What kind of weapon do you normally use? Revolvers, pistols, swords, axes, whatever it is. I mean, what do you want? A Chris knife. I, okay, then <laughs> come back tomorrow. <laughs> but it has to be magical. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna. I'll be. give me a pistol. All right, here you go. Here's a plus one pistol. I'll take it. But Can you use this as a reagent <laughs> to make me a Chris knife? <laughs> sure. Give me your stupid pistol. I'll make it a snaky knife out of it. Thank you. It'll be magical. You got it. Plus one Chris knife. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but with, but with, with those properties we talked about. I don't even remember what property. Well, no, you then give it back. <laughs> you said snaky knife. That's the only property. I need mean, to sacrifice and resurrect magical things and stuff. He wants to be I, able to I, necromance with it. I don't have the. Re- that pistol isn't going to get you resurrection Hold powers. On, what if you use the yeah, reanimation? The reanimation dust. powder with the magical pistol to make. A uh, knife. Similar to the to the lava babies, it's only temporary. Okay, well few minutes can you tops. teach me the ways of the artificer like your father before you no it takes years what if, what if do you have like a, a book do i have hours what if, what if it didn't take years can you make me a helmet that makes it learn faster i i do not make armor i make weapons you and, want armor go talk to the goddamn armor person uh, top. and as these two fight about what a bris nice is that's why we'll take a break and we're back now, heck, I really think since you're the sm- the most learned and smart and most cunning out of everyone here, uh, I think you should try to convince this this uh, smithy to to join the cavalry. All right. Um, you speak, sure. You got good word, right? I have words. Yes. I got. I mean, okay. Let me. See. Yeah, you got word. All right, Heck turns to the smith. Yeah. We're on a mission. From God, the from the devil. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, you told me to do this. If oh, you want sorry, to I'm just, bring I'm in try- the, that's yeah. No, it's okay. I'm just okay. trying, I'm no, trying to be I a know, hype, hype person. Yes. I get yeah. excited. No, I mean, I'm, it, I'm, you did very good. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step. I mean, we don't know that it's the devil. It could be a devil. No, or... it's the devil. I saw that's his true. plaque. Uh, oh. He said number one devil. I don't believe you. It said Phoenix <laughs> University, number one devil. I, I mean, I gotta believe you buy that anywhere. That's not true. <laughs> His coffee mug said, give them the horns, Ned. Yeah, I mean, come Hook on. Hook them. They've got a good point, Ned. Read okay. the room, Ned. All right. I'm 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 looking at my fancy gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this tastes good. Tastes like brie. I miss oh, her so freedom. much. <laughs> it tastes like freedom. <laughs> Right, well, what would you do if we could find all of your father's previous guns and I mean, return them to you? I, I mean, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I guess I could melt them down into other guns. I was kind of hoping to make new guns. So, like... Well, you would be making new guns well, out I, of old guns. That, that's kind of why I was asking you what you're doing. Like, if you're trying to, like, make a name for yourselves out there or something like that, you know... I feel like if you could be outlaws, you could be, I don't know what your deal is, but I'm just saying, you know, every cool outlaw has got to have their signature weapon. So I'm saying I can make you guys your signature weapon. Like it would travel across the land. They would, they could see it. Boom. They know what it is. And they're like, oh shit, that's heck. Step away. What the heck? (laughs) What the heck? That's a pretty good idea. Mm, Yes. No, I do. I enjoy this. How how can we help you help us? Well, I mean, 
I it's gonna take. Join your party and join the cavalry to help go town to town. What are you doing over there? You're Is that what you want? I'm throwing you want my to voice. join the cavalry? I, I didn't say any of those words. First off, and second, oh. no, because I'm staying right here. Okay. Working. But the, we you need can, help. You can help us from here. That's, yeah, exactly. I mean, I work the Bellas. I'm one of the Bellas, you know. Bella fellas. Just one of the Bellas. <laughs> yeah. One of the Bellas. One of the I'm Bellas. more team team Jacob, but that's fine. It's fair. But I Wrong, mean, I was fair. just trying to get like a buddy for the road, like an NPC to help guide us on our way. Yeah, it's called Chickums. Chickums are right. very untrustful right now. <laughs> you got a bird. I feel like that's what a bird does. No a bird. This bird does not do anything a bird does. <laughs> this bird is almost anti burb. Does it fly? Not well. Well, but still... he's not with that heavy ass <laughs> talent. But, but he's yeah. sober right now, so he's he's pretty grumpy. Hmm. It's probably okay. Maybe that's your problem. Stop drugging up your bird. No, the problem is he's sober. I put him on a, a week long drycation. All right. Chickens needs laudanum. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so. Uh, what I would say is uh, that, you know what, you guys need a little bit of self-reflection. Think about what you yourself would like to envision as your signature weapon. Like, what are its properties? What does it look like? Well, you know, is it a melee weapon? Is it a revolver? Is it a rifle? You know, that type of thing. Like, think about all the intricacies about what you would want. Are you saying that we should drink this peyote? I am not talking to you right I'm, now. I'm, I'm asking. Tell, I'm giving you information, and then you keep talking about drugs nope. and other things. I had such a good line that you just raffle stomped down the toilet. I'm fine with it. So. Give me a fucking cider. The, uh. When you think about whatever just you wait. want. <laughs> sorry. Whenever you think about what your weapon would be, think about, uh. Think about what reagents might work for that. You know, if you got a weapon, you, you want to set stuff on fire. Obviously, fire dragon, probably something from a fire dragon would, would work. And then, um, you know, different metal ingots. I, I got most common metals here, but if you could get some uh, more rarer stuff, uh, to go with it. Hey, golden gun, that type of thing. That'd be cool. You know, that type of stuff. A license to kill. I mean, I can. I'll probably get you a license made somewhere, but I don't make licenses myself. Some way to some way to turn a town into slappers only. I don't know what that even means. Um, like if you melted all guns in a twenty in a two mile radius with a clicker, like it's like the light thing from Harry Potter, but it melts guns. No odd jobs. No. Do I need another signature weapon? Cool. In addition to my chain knives. Say so, yeah, you can. This that was just a thank you. Can you make a can you make a gun that makes people's tum tums feel better if I give you special milky milks? Whoa. You want you want a I would like gun? to shoot people and <laughs> heal them. So you want he okay. with like a ray that is constant or what? Healing gun. It's like a <clears throat> it's like a D vitamin lamp. So it's like an anti gun. It's kinda of the opposite of what a gun, a gun does. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's very good. Wait, wait for it. Nailed it. I'll hurt him from close and heal him from far. All right. Uh, well, you said you got healing milkies. I do. You wanna, you wanna tug? I'm, I'm all right right now. Um, give some to Chickums. It's, it's the Munchals gun. <laughs> Chickums milkies. <laughs> I would say that that's a good start. You might want to get me one more magical reagent to go with it. What about a bird? What do you mean? A bird's magical. That bird apparently Ned, is magical. Then leave the chicken alone. I'm trying to build a religion off of him. Are you trying to? You want me to melt that bird into a healing gun? Is that? Hold what on, you're no, 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 wait, no. I'm gonna whisper no. to the whisper to the smith. What if we put his heart in the forge? What would that do? I don't, I don't know. Probably it depends. Could go horribly wrong, or it could do something cool. I like cool stuff. What kind of what kind of reagent would you need to make a magical metal cyber chicken bird thing? Would you Would you mix with a talon to make it crazy? Uh, so one of those. Metal, I pointed the metal over there. That's just regular metal, which oh. means the bird's magic. That's a magical bird. 
Well, Holy so technically, shit. you don't need anything. You could probably just throw the heart with some other random shit. Probably turn it into something wow. else. Chickums is magical, everybody. Did you guys know that? He's just a cave canary who eats turkey jerky. And drugs. No, yeah. Was it magical peyote? Isn't all peyote magical? It's true. That's mm-hmm. why I wanted to go on a vision quest as a group. Go out to the desert, drink some tea. Oh, I miss we that. We can still do it. Yeah. I do have a whole bag of peyote. Maybe that's how we can get back in contact with the devil. I got a question for you, old Smith and Smitherson. Yeah. Old Morrissey man. Sure. <clears throat> what about if I wanted a war pick of earthquake? An oh, earth cool. shattering, war, like, <laughs> since I'm uh, like a pick of destiny almost. I would say if you could get uh, either the tooth or a scale of a purple worm, I could probably God do something damn. like that. Okay, well, at least I know where one is. You might, maybe one of the teeth broke off in that town. I mean, you if you want, if you it. want, I mean, Big earthquake, purple worm. You want a little little baby earthquake, like a like basculus. Do they dig? I thought they'd just sort of spit at you. They so. will. <laughs> I'm thinking like a bullet, a boule. What I, I don't remember how they're pronounced. A street shark. Exactly. The yeah. Sand sharks or whatever they are. What about like a they're smaller, like a, like a mole. A mole? <laughs> yeah. It's more like a that would be a, a dire mole. That would be a pickaxe of. Uh, Tell me, Rumbles. Okay. All right. Barely. Barely oh, even feel damn it. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's ruined. Oh, I thought that was the jewel. No. Thank God. Okay, so a purple worm or a. The, think about it like blue this. The Boulay. bigger, the bigger the the monster. A Robert Boule. The more powerful the, the you know the end result. Okay. All right. I think I can talk this purple worm into letting me do a root canal on him. I've talked to him before. He he kind of owes me a favor. I I, I found his baby. So. All right. Um, and then the only other thing I can do uh, in terms of helping, aside from that, which is an awful lot. Uh, and we did save your town. I got a brother. He uh, he makes magical armors, but he's stuck in uh, he's stuck in Yuma. What's Have we been there, there yet? Nope. No. That's a prison town. Hmm. So if you ever find yourself in Yuma, just, just look for my brother. Can I ask you a question, old Morrissey? Yep. Yeah. You said it's a prison town. Yeah. Fully loaded, guarded to the teeth. Ain't no breaking in to break anybody out kind of prison town? It's pretty easy to get in, not so easy to get out. <clears throat> Getting what? in, you just got to piss off the wrong person. They'll I put you on the idea. train, they'll throw your ass in there. So, what's, I mean, you know the lore and the legends around Yuma. Sure. How often has an escape happened there? Uh... I mean, I've only ever heard of one one person doing it. He did it a couple of times. Well, yeah. Yeah. What's their name? Um, I think it was William. William Peachy. <laughs> sure, William that Peachy. That won't be confusing. <laughs> William Peachy. Some call him Wild Bill or Wild Will. Morrissey, your brother that makes armor. Yep. Is he a disappointment to your father too? Uh. Yeah, because he, he makes armor and not guns. So oh, yeah. Dad thought he was weird. Yeah, that's uh, not not following on the family business there. Yeah, not so much. Now, mm. Morrissey, is this Wild Will still around? He's in prison. Uh, as far as I know, yeah. I know he's not. Where do you think that we could find this Wild Billy? Uh, well, it said that uh, he last time he escaped, he gave up uh, his life of crime and... Took to living with the uh, cow folk out east. East of Morricone, I believe. East of Morricone. Mor- Sorry, west, west of Morricone. Sorry. Directions. Is that where Harmonica is the boss? The base? I believe so, yeah. Now look, since we're just getting our teeth wet in this wild west of the world... Sure. Where's the best place to uh, gain some uh, reputation around here without uh, being too over our heads? Yeah, is there some sort of like fastest gun in the in the West? I'm I'm just showdown looking for, show like, place. Starting town. Well, I mean, arm wrestling competition. If you go to any of the major cities and you just don't draw the ire of uh, the bosses, I mean, there's plenty of low mm-hmm. low hanging fruit that you can probably. Yeah, we've tried that. We're not good at mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You're showing us to punch hard. people in the nuts. Oh, 
that aren't right. that aren't made. Uh, well, I mean, you know, uh, killing big honking monsters is a pretty good way to you know get your name recognized. There's some check certainly some some nasty critters, and uh, technically that would be that'd be a twofer for you because you get some magical reagents possibly if it serves whatever you're trying to do. <clears throat> well, say we take on this monster hunter adventure. Where's the best place in the, not you know, something mid-level that's not too... Uh, mid-level. Well, yeah, you know, I'm not going to go out and, you know, punch a purple worm to death. I've been doing that sure. for years, and it's still coming back harder than ever. But also, Kabold's too weak. Yeah. So I need something in the mid. You need that's something what I said, middle. mid-level. He knows what plus one is, but he doesn't know what mid-level is. <laughs> Look at this guy. Mid-level. I mean, he's a friend right now. Don't piss him off. Oh, I'm trying to think of something that's unimpressive. Uh, I mean, semi-impressive. Yeah. I would say, you know what? There's a uh, fairly young uh, black dragon in the mountains between Sergio and Morricone. Uh, pretty pissy. Pisses off a lot of people too. You'd probably do that one. Black dragon. In I mean, the it's mountains. still it's cool. It's still dangerous because they're big. Ones, but you know, dragon's pretty strong. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, uh, it's not a full-on giganto. It's not the red one that's f- flying around. Okay. Is it a is it a boy dragon or a girl dragon? I don't know. I didn't check its underparts. Mm, Cause I hear they're into ungulates. I might be able to seduce it. Maybe start a family <laughs> that would show up in the sequels. All right. You're not a and donkey. they would be very cute. It's true. They were pretty adorable. After that. Weird blowjob scene that was in the movie. What? What? Go back and watch that scene. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Tell you. Hang on. Okay. I'm gonna go back and watch the scene. I'm gonna search okay. on. I'm gonna search on Reddit and see what comes of that. Mm, you, mm, you're gonna get something. a lot of art. <laughs> a lot of. <laughs> you get a lot of fan art. A lot of fan art. So yeah, uh, I would say that's pretty mid level. Um, there's also um, trying to think here. I mean, I think there's a behold. You know what? There's a beholder out there as well. Wow, that might be a bit too. Uh, what's too, he beholded uh, to? That's pretty strong. Oh uh, well, they say he guards a treasure cave. Is there beauty in his eye? Uh, death. There's death in his eye. I eyes. mean, we know the devil. That's not how the I mean, saying goes. Sorry, buddy. Death's in the beholder. Death is in the eye of the beholder. That's yeah. Not I mean, objectively, it, it not true. It's pretty true because he killed people. No. Death. These are some very good leads. But also, I mean, one more quick. I mean, like, there's if we go into like not like hop and dop in cities, but we go into smaller port towns or just you know little city slickers. Sure. I mean, searching for Curly's gold, there should be like wanted posters and stuff that we could like pick up some mercenary work as well. Oh yeah, any small town or even the major cities are gonna have wanted posters, uh, except for Tombstone because they don't fuck care about anything oh, over there. Language. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they do care if you try to open up a. Your own business, but yeah, they have feelings. Yeah. They're humans, Morrissey. Man, Morrissey it objectively has no more feelings. Well, that's, that's Robert fair. Smith. Oh, geez, that would work as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the only other creature I could think of, uh, there is a about southwest of Unforgiven. There's a uh, there's a rock giant out there. Again, possibly on the hard side for you guys, but uh, there's a rock giant, and uh, they say that uh, old Smiling Tommy wants that guy taken care of, so you could probably get a pretty good chunk of change for that one on top of, you know, making a name for yourself. Okay. What kind of rock giant? It's a, it's a big, big one. one. It's a big rock giant. What do you want? Big rock? Yeah. Big I don't rock. know that kind. That's a big rock candy giant. Come uh, on. The ones that live alone. Uh, are indie rock giants. Okay. <laughs> and then the ones that are particularly hard to smash are hard rock giants. Uh-huh. And then the really, really old ones are classic rock giants. Well, I mean, this one, I they, one they just, they, they might be giants. We don't know. Then there's the ones that turn into balls and they're called rock and roll giants. Okay. I think this one would classify as in the indie rock giant. Okay. All right. All right. So the Decemberists. Uh, no, it's November. <laughs> November is got it. Sure. Also good. Yeah. Can we start a cover band called the Novemberists? And then her 
Womb started spewing out babies. <laughs> July, July. Is that all oh, I got? Oh, Rockland Sea. Uh... Listen, I don't, I don't need any of this. What's going on right now? I want a magical <laughs> guitar. Crane. I don't make crane guitars. Fight. Crane, crane, one. Go fucking talk to Chris me. Knife. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's gonna easy. make you, you make your a weird. Gun and you put strings on it. Or just use his battle how. axe. I mean. A guntar. Guntar? guntar. guntar. My name is Guntar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to rock. <laughs> you to rock your face Nick commits suicide so I can roll Guntar. <laughs> no, just kidding. With the Chris yeah, knife, the you Chris, get it? Yeah. <laughs> guntar. All right, I want to get a heartstring from that magical bird, and I want you to melt it with an ingot to make me a Chris knife. <laughs> what? Ne- heartstrings? Ne- heartstrings. Chickens? No, I want... Chickens is magical, and... The world needs to know about his heart's chickens. not made of string. He's just a bird. Ned. It's, it's, There's tendons. This yeah, is, I mean, string. he's not even the first cave canary I've had. This is not chicken like the OG chicken. Wait, you have? He's a dollar store canary. Yeah, dude. literally. It's you know how you, you have get, like a, a cave full of these magical birds. I mean, not anymore. I mean, you know when you go to like he's you, the last canary of his kind. Yeah. Wow. That I mean, must you, be magical you know, <laughs> you know how like you go to the boardwalk and you got all them stores selling like hermit crabs. And then you go underneath the boardwalk. And there's ch- chickens under there. Yeah. With like one eye, promise you like a. a, a is, that, is he is a, he a boardwalk chicken? He's a boardwalk <laughs> chicken. So if I just hold a syringe, he'll like me. Well, it depends on if it's Jersey or Maryland, but I mean, a and pipe a crab in a hand. Leg. There you go. A little, well, you know what? Get a some crab, old bay. A crab arm grasping a, a syringe. syringe. I yeah. mean, that's it's the best of both worlds. Uh huh. I don't understand. Well, anything we you best just said, be but... hidden the dusty trail. Uh, good to meet you, Morrissey. Uh, we'll be back with reagents and our magical bird soon. So you, so you still want that knife like right now? No, no. I I want it to be magical. So. Oh, okay. You, you just think about that knife. You think about that it's knife. It's wavy. Can we come back and see you whenever? I think yeah. that's the idea, yeah. We're right here. He wants reagents to make I awesome pre- stuff. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate uh, you know, the turn of... Uh, think about names for him, too. Every cool weapon's got a cool name. I ain't naming your weapons for The chicken mater. Okay. The sure. chicken fry. I'm going to call mine the love gun. That's a great All name. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to spout anything yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think Let's about it. Wiener that's slime. Right. You don't have to do now. You got time. You got time. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, is there is there a temple nearby? I mean, Ned, we are leaving. Yeah, we. You know, there's a stone temple here. Okay. Fuck you. I want on the way out of town. I want to stop at the stone temple. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's a it's we're, we're testing out religion, so it's a pilot program. So yeah. Stone temple God pilot. It. <laughs> it was worth it. But, I mean, yeah, if you want to stop by again. Okay, I will. Don't cry. I mean, we should see the mayor before we leave, too, just, you know, to see, no, like, get money. I, just, mm. no, we, mm. I mean, we did say this town, and he probably owes us something. We did. Okay. Twice, uh, actually. Let's run up like to the, the mayor. the key to the sewer. I mean, you want, you, the rest of you guys want these plus one weapons for your journey? I mean, yeah, that'd be oh, nice. Sure. Yeah. Yes. All right, Eck, what do you want? Uh, well, I'll take anything you got. Yep. What? Well, do you like melee weapons? You like Don't short range? You like long it's, range? I love everything. A canary spear. All right. <laughs> uh, here's a. You like one hand, two hand? Give me, give me some direction here, Heck. Let's go with two handed. All right. Uh, here's a. Uh, well, I call it an executioner axe because it's got a big long curved blade on the one. Oh Damn. wow! It's, it's real good for chopping off heads. Um, is a. It's a it's a two D six, plus one. That's pretty great. Thank you. I appreciate that. You welcome. Uh, I'm ready. What do you want? Will? Melee. A All spade. Right. What do you want? <laughs> Did you get a spade plus <laughs> plus one? Shovel. Negative two. Yeah, one D four plus one. one. It's one D three plus one. <laughs> Unless you're gardening, then it's a plus six. Yeah, you get advantage on gardening. But after you dig too deep. Purple worms come and eat your brains. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they got to fight with the spiders that are already up there and control me. What do you want, Willie? I mean, a war pick. So you want one-handed war pick, two-handed war pick? What do you want? You know what? Let's go dual-handed. A swing bastard for, pick? Two-handed. All swing right. for the for the mountains. What about a hand and a half pick? Hand and a half pick. Turtle power. Uh, it's a, a bastard pick, if you will. That's what I said. Okay. That's oh, it. 
Yeah, the same thing. 1D12 plus one more pick. You could mine real hard big. with that. Got a pretty big pick on it. You can show those stupid mountain dwarves that you're the best miner that ever lived. Willie, the lady dwarves are going to be all over your pick. I mean, I, I wouldn't personally necessarily. You're, you're going to have to beat them off with that pick. Much, but. Oh, that's dark. I mean, we'll get there when we get there. It's fine. You said this is a, a bastardized. Bastard pick. Its birth was illegitimate in the eyes of the church. Old Could be a D eight or a D twelve. Old dirty pick. You can't pick. inherit lands or titles. Oh, and if you ever run into my brother, his name is Callum. Callum. Yep. We go. We we go by his. He, sometimes he goes by his middle name. Callum is Malcolm backwards. Eddie. Callum, the brother that's in jail. The nickname's Eddie. God damn it. How do you get Eddie out of Callum? Eddie. It's his middle name. Callum Edward Morrissey. That's not what it said. It's his middle name's Where Eddie. Was it? Y Yuma? Um, Yuma. All right. Old Dirty Bass Pick. No, I think I can do better. Old Dirty Pick Tur. Old Dirty Pickaxe. Oh. Old Dirt McGurk. Ned, what do you want then? You Rickle didn't... pick. Do you want anything? Yeah. We won't. Mm. Uh, I mean, aside from this plus one pistol. Oh, you already got it? There you go. Yeah. Here's your plus I one Just pistol. give it back. We've been like tug of warring it this whole time. I know. I'm... Let go. It's yours. Thank you. Take and some care magical bullets. It's already plus one. I think we've wasted enough time. Let's just get our Can weapons we get and go. get the fuck out of here? Yeah. Jesus. Bye. Jesus. Cool shopping episode. <laughs> we'll see you soon. No, we got a lot of intel and pushed the narrative forward. Yeah, sure. But yeah, heck, look anxious to get out of here. Mr. Mayor, we'll be back for our reward in a while. You're With welcome. regions to make you a better gunsmith. You got a bag of gold. I mean, I can still give you your bag of gold. Toss it. I catch it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, roll strength. I dex to intercept. Uh, 21. Yeah, it's very, very heavy, but you managed to get it. It's uh, 300 gold pieces. All right. And at the temple? Uh, the temple's outside. It's just a just a little pillar on the outside with a little what pole. Time, what time of day is it out here? Uh, well, the temple's still in the village, but if you go outside... I'm not going to that temple. Okay. Oh, so, we got to ask about death. At every temple... Yeah, go for it, Ned. Hey! I, I'm done with this city. I'm a, I'm a new... Well, but this is kind of our home base city now, because... This is where we're going to keep coming back. Uh, there seems to be an angry older woman shaking her fist and running up the path at Bessie May. Oh. You missed your you shift. You fired me. No, I you didn't. You fired me. You said no. you were coming back. You fired me. No, you said you were coming back. I Yeah, but after you said you fired me, I was, I said that as a threat. You're, you're lucky that I didn't fulfill it. So you also, didn't quit. Also, I need my day's pay. What are you talking about? You gotta work a week to get a day. You gotta work a week to get a day's pay around here. That, excuse me? Yeah. I have to work a whole week to get one day's pay. Yeah, it's called capitalism. This job sucks. You can <laughs> shove it up my ass. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's how that saying goes. Uh, all right. Lost another quality worker. Why does yeah. this keep happening? Feels bad, huh? If only we yelled at our workers more. <laughs> It's right. You know From what? From the get-go. Next time I'm going to yell at my worker more. That'll keep him around. Yep. I mean, it worked for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys also, go outside. Can I, like, pick up shifts No, I want to maybe? I want to go to this uh, I'm temple. talking about everybody else. They go outside. It's early evening. Ned, you go to this temple. There's, like, nobody there. It's a pilot program, so there's not very... And not even, like, a head priest? There is... No. It's just a little tiny pedestal sort of thing where somebody could stand to deliver a sermon. Uh, there are three people who are knelt down in front of this uh, stone temple carving. I, I go up to the podium. Okay. What's the name of this town? I don't know if you ever found it. We never did. Yeah, you were never told it. People of the Dwarven Underground! I come bearing the good word, the good word of the immortal Chickam. Chickam is good. 
Roll charisma. Chicken is kind, and chicken has died, and will live again. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, they are. They are very interested in what you have to say. You may join his flock, for he is forgiving. His talons are sharp, and he has a razor sharp wing. But it will protect you, and he will raise the claw up, but not bring it down upon your gloved arm. For he protects you and loves you. There's a lot of details in this story. It'll all become apparent a lot, soon. A lot of really specific details. The heart of Chickums will open to you. Okay. And you will feel his love. What do we got to do to earn Chickums love? And then what do we get? Do we go to like a happy place? Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> you must squawk in the name of the Lord. Squawk! 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 And he will hear you. And when when he hears you, you will go to the immortal place within the heart of us all and be reborn like the phoenix, which is basically a chicken. <laughs> Squawk! 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 Pause for, pause for clarity while I think. <laughs> yeah, while you think. <laughs> Not while you're fed lines. I mean, since since you don't have to write, you can just tell me. The power of chicken compels you. The power of chicken compels you. Squawk! The power of chicken compels you. Squawk! To open your hearts. What do we do now? You spread the word. Like seed. Like a seed into the the oasis so it shall grow. We'll, we'll do it. Yeah. You got like a book or anything we can go off of or pictures, anything? I'll mail you pamphlets. Uh, I... I quickly scroll the picture of a talon and a heart. A, a talon grasping a heart. Performance. Or sleight of hand. I'll take sleight. Fuck yeah, I got a 20. You, Non-natural. You draw a great uh, metal. Metallic talon grasping yeah. a, a heart that's like turning metal. Super metal. Hell yeah. And I'm like, wow, you're really good. Yeah. Spread that unto the world. Will do. Squawk! Sorry. Squawk, squawk to you too, brother. Squawk and squawk to you. And in three days he rose again <laughs> like the phoenix from the ashes. And as Ned <clears throat> leaves the town, uh, that is what we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. Everyone here in chat, stick around. We're going to take a short break and come back with a second episode. Man, I have to pee. This episode of Botch was brought to you. Uh, all right. Good talk. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Reddit, TikTok, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, the Knock, Lord Chronic Skinner, B-Mill, Shanda Panda, Long May She Squawk, Lost Limey, Scabby Goose, Zucari, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, and Bread2287. You want to support the show and have your name read at the end of an episode, all you can have to do is head on over to freedomvalleyhorsepace.com, dickblood.me, dickblood.club, cornhub.icu, sexwithwookies.com, <laughs> pigrickets.com. Wow. I still haven't written this one down. Uh, Moo? Mulk? Mulk milk. Mook Mook's, milk. Mook? Mook? Mook milk? Mook? No, it's mo Mook 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 Mook. Mookmulk.com. I'm going to double check that. M-O-O-K. -O -O -K. Or -O -O -K. simply patreon.com slash botch podcast like our newest patron, Old Swamp Ass. Old Swamp Ass himself. <laughs> <laughs> you want to support the show but can't do it financially, that's fine. All you got to do is head on over to uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to the show and leave us a five-star review, and Tristan will read that review live on the show. Damn it. He's getting really angry that nobody has left anything. <laughs> Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them over the internet at Gozer underscore music or spin simply on Spotify. Their EP is now available. Ooh. Thank you to Emily Swan for album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Want to send something to the studio that we can open up on stream? Do so over at 3178 Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. And as always... As you preach the word to the flock that will squawk, squawk botched, and will steal the heart of a chicken. We'll see you next week, nerds. All right, everyone, stick around. Tristan's got to take a pee, and uh, we'll be right back with uh, part two. Big pee, small pee pee. <laughs>
Dick slime. Huge urethra. Yum. Mm.